Rescuing the euro can be a hard sell right now, including here in Erfurt in eastern Germany. The Social Democrats know the situation all too well. They trail the incumbent Christian Democrats nationwide. The local branch of the party here in Erfurt is also feeling the heat from voters. What about the billions of euros invested in Europe? And SPD politicians standing shoulder to shoulder with Conservative Chancellor Angela Merkel? It is rather remarkable seeing Angela Merkel still enjoying very popular ratings, especially among young people. Critical times tend to strengthen those up at the front. It's a difficult situation right now. I reckon the SPD has to show that we have the superior ideas. We're seeing some really heated debates. Karsten is taking the issue all the way to the top, to Berlin. Karsten Schneider is a respected financial expert within the party. He became a member of parliament in 1998, initially with the SPD Green Coalition. Now the SPD is in the opposition. The trained banker has a say in his party's policy on the euro and also understands grassroots discontent here in eastern Germany. It's crucial to explain decisions and where we differ from the government. Governments across Europe are agreeing to this pact. You'd need a really good justification for claiming that the SPD is right and everyone else is wrong. Polster Manfred Gurner has been observing the fortunes of the main parties for decades. The SPD has lost around 10 million voters since 1998, he says. His surveys suggest the party's left-wing stance on the financial crisis has been a shot in the foot. The main problem for the SPD is that only very few people, 10 or 12 percent, believe the party is able to solve the underlying problems the country is facing. The figures for the CDU aren't that great, but they do get competence ratings of 20 to 25 percent. Jens Mavis is an engineer and an energy consultant. He joined the SPD in Erfurt 10 years ago. Regardless of the euro issue, with just a year to go until nationwide elections, he wants to see the party going on the offensive. Look at the renewable energy law, for example, a successful project from the SPD Green Coalition. But now everything's going in reverse. The conclusion has to be the government deserves to be voted out of office. The euro crisis is overshadowing everything else. Chancellor Merkel appears to be a one-woman troubleshooting team, seeing the European fiscal pact through the German parliament, along with the bailout for Greece and support for the Spanish economy. The SPD backed her up, but with zero political gain. She'll keep playing the role that she got off to a fine start in the Grand Coalition. That's why the mood hasn't changed. People don't want to drive her out of the Chancellor's office. Many people who don't really want to vote CDU say they would like to keep Merkel. But she will have to convince SPD voters next year if she wants to win the elections. Karsten Schneider and other budgetary affairs experts aim to explain European politics better, in particular those matters close to the hearts of Social Democrats. Who's going to pick up the tab for the crisis? Ms. Merkel says it won't cost us anything, but it costs money. And the 2013 parliamentary elections will be about the question, who is financing the government? What are the rich doing in this country and in the other European nations to save the welfare state? Of course we're trying to consolidate spending, but we also need to switch on the motor for growth. And the Social Democrats were the ones who suggested that. I think we'll have to keep making that clear, also in the election campaign. Here in Erfurt, in eastern Germany, people also would like policies to be better explained. Normally, a meeting at this center for young families would be plain sailing for the SPD. But Merkel has also managed to take ownership of subjects like family policy. The Social Democrats can't get their message out. I think that when there is more focus on topics like Germany's tax system, like the regulation of the labor market and the exit from nuclear power, 
Then it will be clear that the SPD has better solutions for this country. The SPD always stood for good ideas and progress, the willingness to risk something new. That's missing a bit now. Hopefully at some point, sometime next year, there'll be a breakthrough. The SPD realizes that it will need to change before it can change the country. In Erfurt, the local party association is planning its strategy for the 2013 elections. People here want Berlin to listen to the ideas coming from the grassroots of the party. Maybe that'll help.